Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but we also discuss how we're going to fix it together. Now, the content today is going to make you smile because you know something that I do. Every time a gun controller breathes in the forest, we buy some more guns. And this is another case of just such an event. There is a gun boom going on in a very special state that may or may not have just passed a new assault weapons ban. Everything is linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to tie all these things together, and you are going to love it. And if you are a new or returning viewer, please consider liking this video, hitting that subscribe button, and turning the notification bell on. We need as many people as we possibly can to get in the fold, get in the trenches with us, because we are going to pass the blessing on to the next generation of this Second Amendment, and we'd love you to be along for the ride. Thank you so much in advance for your consideration, and the content today is brought to you by The Second Press. Now, the second press is something that I founded because, quite honestly, I'm sick of the, the status quo. I don't like the idea that we just have to take gun control, and that's really it. That's all there is to it. There's no solution on the other side. Well, that is what the second press is for. We are creating so many amazing things. We've got original and shareable Pro 2A content, narrating podcasts, founding multiple YouTube channels, and offering exclusive content with your favorite 2A creators on our Substack. Please consider supporting us. There's a link in the description box below, and I would love to have you over there as we announce these new shows that are coming in February, and I cannot wait to see you there. But my brothers and sisters, as I mentioned in the intro, and I should probably make a t-shirt or something on this, every time a gun controller breathes, we buy some more guns. Check this out, because there is a gun buying boom going on, and you're going to see something that we covered a couple months ago, very similar, also in a blue state. Gun sellers, after sales spike ahead of state assault weapons ban, say law won't survive. But now that thousands of dollars of a, of a De Plains gun shop owner's inventory is illegal to sell, he and other retailers are navigating what steps to take next. This came out today. Now this, I'm going to get back to Illinois in a second. Tell me if you guys remember this video that we did. This is what happened in Oregon when Measure 114 passed. Remember, Measure 114 is the one that is under TRO, went through a Gun Owners of America lawsuit, went through an NRA lawsuit, NSSF lawsuit, multiple different foundations lawsuit, and it's completely stuffed and stopped from implementation. You've got, uh, let's see, the background check requirement to buy a gun stalled, the permitting process stalled, everything is stalled. Well, this exact same thing happened, and this is where the irony comes in. This was the increase in Oregon that I'm showing you on the screen. And like everything's leaked, you can verify the data yourself. That's the first one. Here's the next one with a little more time frame. This goes all the way back to the old <coughs> time frame. And then right in the middle, you saw some gun booms around some peaceful situations that we all know about. But then you saw the ballot measure 114 in the 2022 election, which surpassed all of it. So in effect, Ball ballot measure 114 was a bigger catalyst to gun ownership and embracing and endorsing the Second Amendment than any of the other things that happened in the prior two years. You can figure out what I'm talking about. Now, well, the irony of that is after all those guns were bought, they brought all these sales forward from the future, the ballot measure was invalidated. It was put under a temporary restraining order and it's not into effect. Therefore, you brought forward four times as many gun purchases as you would have being a gun controller. But now let's go back to Illinois because this has this bodes very well for these business owners. Check this out. In the days before Illinois assault weapons ban was signed by Governor J.B. Pritzker on Tuesday, business ticked up at Max and Shooting Supplies, a gun shop in suburban Des Plaines. Handgun sales doubled. Okay. And rifle sales were 10 times what they were over the last year, according to owner Dan Eldridge. So the handguns had clearly saturated the market and they had 10x of assault weapons or rifles that were purchased now when this goes under lawsuit which by the way hang in there some inside information wink and a nod it will very soon you're going to see some very big names coming after it exactly like it happened in oregon exactly happened in new york exactly happened in new jersey this is all going down we've done like five of these in the past three or four months and you we, you and i have watched it together but now you're going to have this individual inventory sitting in stock while everyone else is sold out what do you think is going to happen to these business owners some very good things. All right, check it out. But now that hundreds of thousands of dollars of his inventory is illegal to sell, Eldridge and other gun shop owners are navigating what steps to, steps to take next. Eldridge and other gun store owners believe the ban is unconstitutional and are holding on to their uh, now illegal stock in hopes of one day selling it in Illinois. Translation, they're holding on to their inventory, letting everything else dry up and the supply go away, and then they're going to have the only assault weapons or legal constitutional arms in the state of Illinois of which the price will be increased because the demand has been artificially created. 
They're going to bring even more purchases forward, and they're going to put more money into the gun industry, all because they signed an unconstitutional constitutional law, which is also going to get put under TRO. I'm not a prophet. I'm not, I'm not Nostradamus. I'm just saying, following the breadcrumbs, it looks promising. Anyway, let's keep going, because I love when things backfire. Eldridge Store will hold these those guns and magazines in boxes in the back of the store until they can be sold again. Our approach is to hold on to it, he said. This is how I'm going to end this. Eldridge is also president of a state association of gun shop owners, Federal Firearms Licensees of Illinois. The group plans to file a lawsuit next week challenging the constitutionality of the assault weapons ban, he said. The gun rights people are going to win, he said. The law infringes on constitutionally protected activity. Simple, straight to the point, and effective. That's exactly right. That's my assessment as well. So what you're going to do now, and you're going to follow the steps of New Jersey, you're going to follow the steps of New York, you're going to follow the steps of Oregon, just in the last couple of months, you're going to bring all these gun sales to the forefront. Everything from the future is going to be sold now currently. Inventories that were not sold are going to be the only ones in the state when the ban gets put under a temporary restraining order and another gun buying ensues. You're, you're, you're basically putting more energy, more infrastructure, more finances into the gun world than you would have prior. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.